Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel in today's video well I'm gonna be teaching you how to strafe like a king you see that I just won that 1v1 because I can strafe better than that person and that person's pretty trash if you ask me but before we get into these tips I wanna well shout out the Evo squad member of today which is glow Stefan FN Damn, you mad at this game. That was on a Fortnite montage. If you like Fortnite, hit that link in the top right. But that's besides the point. If you want to be the Evil Squad member, you got to subscribe and comment anything. And I will probably read it and give you a shout out. Okay, so the first tip to learn how to strafe better is to use guns that either have a low magazine or semi-automatic. Or just use guns that... Don't really that aren't really the best for example this pistol honestly one of the worst guns in the game any uh fully automatic gun could probably out duel a pistol or outgun a pistol but if you're smart and you slide out or you take certain uh very tight angles oh my gosh that pistol is really really good also using the bolt action uh Marksman's rifle is really important because every time you need to do that ch ching motion, you have to go into cover. And if you don't build that habit of taking, well, kind of breaking the engagement down into pieces, like you peek, break, you go into cover. You peek, break, go into cover. It's really important to instead of have that extended, well, peek, right? You don't want to be in that lane for too long. Imagine it like the one second rule. You only want to be in that lane for one second. Because if so, if you're in that lane for that one and a half second, someone might peek with the full auto shotgun or something, and you're still in that cha-ching motion, right? You want to be able to go into cover, so then when you come out again, you can instantly shoot, and there's no delay. Also, sliding out, that slide, I overextended. Overextension is really, really bad in COD. Because the thing is, is if you overextend, you're definitely going to die. Because when you overextend, you're going to be out there maybe for not even half a second. So, honestly, every gun in the game kills you in like half a second or less. So, overextension is really bad and it'll definitely ruin your KD. And if you see in this play, I missed two shots. That's fine. But I use my cover to per. Perfection. Using cover is so, so important, and strafing in and out of it is really important. See right there? That is not an overextended slide. Overextension is when you slide out and you can't take one step back into cover. If you could slide and shoot and still take one step back into cover, well then, that is not an overextension. That is just knowing how to slide. The slide in this game is very, very slow and sure it i don't like it i play destiny 2 where you could slide like literally across the map it's amazing or apex you could slide across the map in apex but cod it's a little bit different you're a little bit more clunky the movement speed isn't really there you feel fast but you're really not so getting in and out of lanes is really difficult unless you have a high mobility gun like a pistol but that's Besides the point, that's a totally different topic, talking about the mobility of guns and so on. But yeah, just staying in cover, learning how to strafe in and out, and not overextending will definitely win you those 1v1 scenarios. Because most of the time, that marksman rifle is going to do a one-shot kill, right? Most of the time, for that matter. But if you miss, you're kind of screwed if you stay in that lane. Because you're not shooting back, not applying flinch, not applying pressure which is really bad because you're literally a target that's just standing still if you're not strafing and that's so easy to hit you they could have the worst aim possible and if you're not strafing they don't even need to put their finger on their thumbstick they could just hold down the shoot button and they'll probably be fine because the marksman's rifle has that little ching motion also for pistols Knowing the amount of bullets that are needed to kill someone is very important because for me, when I first started using this pistol, I thought it was four to f six bullets to kill, right? Four to six. That's a lot of bullets. So I'd waste more than half of my mag on one person. But as I got used to it, I realized it's more to three to four shots. 
meaning I can have two kills in one magazine. That is really important because when I engage, well, I know if I can take on a duo or a trio. And if it is a trio, I know I'll have to go back into cover and, well, reload. That It's just knowing how the movement works. Honestly, sliding, don't overextend. Strafing, know how fast your strafe is. And did you see that little um, trick? It's called, like, the strafe crouch strafe it's really i don't really know what it's called honestly i just love doing it because for some reason it is so hard to track people when they're crouching like when they're point blank when someone crouches it totally throws me off guard it totally throws me off guard so doing that crouch strafe is really important see getting those different angles if you could see right now like i'm getting all these angles it's really really good also to close out the video if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. More COD coming soon. Love ya. Peace.